Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. It's great to meet you here. Uh, today we are looking at um, and responding to the cry of the heart, the cry which goes around saying, help, I'm trapped. So today I just want to ask you this question, you know, do you feel trapped? Um, you say, uh, what do you mean? Well, let's look at uh, the scripture, James chapter 1 verses 14 to 15. It says, but each one is tempted when he's drawn away by his own desires and enticed. And that word enticed there means snared or trapped. Then when, verse 15, then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin and sin when it is full grown brings forth death. Now sin uh, brings about a cycle. It brings about a, a, a process, a cycle that uh, ensnares us, traps us, and so that we just go around, around and around. Uh, if we do not intentionally break that cycle or break that chain. So this is what happens, you know, we sin and there's guilt and shame. And if we do not repent, um, we, in other words, if we do not repent, but on the contrary, distends ourselves from God, then we, we lack the power to resist sin. And we again sin and go into that cycle of sin, uh, shame, uh, cycle, uh, a defeat kind of a cycle, right? So, uh, so we feel trapped, we feel imprisoned and we cry out, help, I, I, I'm trapped in this, I want to get out of this. Well, Romans chapter 8 and verses 5 to 8, it talks about the fact that those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. Those who live according to the spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. And uh, the carnal mind is enmity against God. So we find a key there, uh, a key that we use in order to break that cycle. It has to do with what goes on in our mind. It has to do with what goes on in our thoughts and imaginations, which others may not know, but we know for sure. You know, uh, So our internal voice, our internal thoughts and our imaginations, right? So what do we do? As believers, it's our privilege to walk free. The truth has set us free. The Lord Jesus has set us free from sin and from the bondage of sin so that we might continue to walk freely. Romans chapter 8 and verse 13, it says, For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. So by the Spirit, we need to put to death the deeds of the body. So by the Spirit, led by the Spirit of God, led by the promptings of the Holy Spirit, we need to make some choices. We need to intentionally bring to an end. In other words, put to death. It's as severe as putting something to death, which means we bring it to an end. Maybe it could be some things that we are watching. Maybe it could be some things that we are reading. It could be some things that we are doing. We need to bring it to an end. And we do it by the Spirit or by the empowering, by the leading of the Holy Spirit. So when we do that, we break that cycle. We open that door and we walk out of that door, out of that prison door, we walk free. Secondly, now Romans chapter 6 and verse 11 says, Reckon yourself dead to sin, but alive to God. The thing is that in Christ, we have already been set free. In Christ, the prison door is open. Now we need to reckon, we need to come to that conclusion. Uh, we need to make up our mind and uh, we need to embrace that truth, identify ourselves with that truth that, yes, I reckon myself, myself dead to sin and I reckon myself alive to God and when I do that that cycle is broken and I walk in the freedom that Christ has already given for me amen so let's let's pray father God we thank you that you have set us free and for the for those of us who are crying out saying I'm trapped I feel trapped in the cycle Lord I pray that today will be a day of breakthrough Today will be a day when that cycle is broken, when those chains are broken, when we embrace the truth that we are indeed set free, God, that your truth has set us free. 
and uh, that we can we can walk through that door empowered and led by the spirit of god to put to death the deeds of the body we thank you that we can do this in your name in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org